Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Uh, awesome couple of days in the sunny coast so far. Um, I just wanted to jump on tonight and talk to you guys about journaling. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that I carry on and on and on about journaling. Uh, the journaling queen has been uh, given to me as a name, uh, but it, it comes from a, a couple of different places. I suppose, first of all, uh, where it came from for me, uh, someone, uh, a good friend of mine sent me a journal about two years ago with instructions of what to write in there. Um, and I did a really, really bad job of it at the beginning. In fact, I didn't actually write in it at the beginning. All I did was Snapchat, put a little note on it, and later on I printed them out and stuck them on the paper. Uh, and then as I progressed, uh, and I slowly wrote more and more and more, and the, the whole process completely and utterly changed my life. Uh, and I've been doing some research lately. I'm actually writing a research report on journaling at the moment uh, to put some science behind why I say all of these things all of the time. So I want to tell you about a research study that I, I've recently read first. Um, a guy got so many amount of people into a room every day and all they, all they had to do was for 15 minutes write about the worst thing that has ever happened to them. Uh, and they did this every day for about two weeks. And what happened was uh, they, they, they were monitored for the next 12 months and their uh, overall visits to the doctor went down 70%. Their rates of anxiety and depression and sickness all dropped massively. And all they ever did was write about the worst thing that happened to them, uh, you know, over over a two week period for fifteen minutes a day, so that all that is is fifteen minutes a day. Um, from my own experience, hello, how are you? <laughs> um, from my own experience, I suppose uh, what I've come from and what I've seen other people do is it's actually about getting the thoughts out of your head. You know when you do those head miles and you're going around and around in circles consistently about should I do this, 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 or what this has happened, that's happened, or you're angry about something and you can't stop the head miles about it, actually writing it down gets it out of your head. You can let it go then. Uh, and, and if you add on to that, if when you are writing, once you get the hang of it and you just let the pen run and you just let it go, you can actually solve a lot of your own problems. Because once we've actually got it out, it's the same as voicing something to someone. You know, when you start talking about it, you tend to solve your own problems or it no longer matters. The cool thing about journaling is you don't have someone else's opinion for you to then have more head miles about, you know. Uh, you know, you, you speak to someone and they, they give this advice, that advice, this opinion. Uh, and often that's not actually that helpful. I mean, voicing something to someone is good because it gets it off our chest. Uh, but the other opinions that come into play can often make it a little bit worse. So what we want to do is is keep it to ourselves but still get it out. So writing it out um, and, and coming to your own conclusions, thinking like whilst you're writing, going, taking yourself on a little bit of a journey, uh, you know, where you, you do solve your own problems. Another benefit of it is you can actually go and, and do a bit of woo-woo stuff where you're setting your intentions for the day. So in the morning, I will write out exactly what my intentions are for today. Sometimes it'll be one simple thing, like I'm going to laugh for the entire day. Sometimes it'll be, I'm going to sign this up, uh, this many new clients. I'm going to make this much money. Um, you know, I'm going to stay grounded all day. And more often than not, those things actually happen in that day because I've set the intention for it. Uh, another two of my favorite things to do in journaling is writing what I'm proud about myself for. Uh, as a business owner, it's often hard to come by praise. Uh, you know, when you used to have a boss or when you're a kid or you're studying, you're getting these praise from other people. Yeah. Like you're doing a really good job. Well done. Here's a promotion employee of the week as a business owner or doing something on your own that you know, other people are involved in. It's a good chance to give yourself some praise and those little moments when you're like, Hey, you know what? I'm proud of myself for doing the little things that I've done every single day this week. I'm proud of myself for actually jumping through my fear and giving this a go. I'm proud of myself for managing the situation well. Uh, and you get those amazing feelings. You, know, you get that good feeling and that can boost your mood, boost your vibration, boost you know, everything. 
The third thing that I love to do in it is, uh, and what everyone always talks about, is being grateful. Uh, writing down what I'm grateful for at the beginning of the day from yesterday or at the end of the day, because again, uh, you know, what when we when we give out gr- gratitude, we tend to get more good things back. So if we're grateful for the roof over our head and the money that's coming in and the clients that we have and the insight that we got out of our journaling today, uh, you know, the ability for us to be able to exercise, all of these little things, uh, you know, it puts us in that higher state of vibration, puts us at that higher level where we're feeling good all the time. And I suppose the point of all of life really is to actually just feel good. So they can be really good tools for that. The other thing that I wanted to touch on, because I actually have read some stuff about, okay, yeah, journaling's good, but it can actually do you a little bit of backwards, uh, a backwards harm if you're not getting cognition out of it. So yes, we want to write about the things that have happened to us, uh, but we also want to gain some understanding from it. So we get the most benefit out of journaling when we come to some sort of understanding. So if you just write, this was shit, that was horrible, I hate the world, you know, that's okay, but you're not going to get the massive benefit out of it. If you write, this was shit, that was crap, you know, I hate that person and this pissed me off and I hate the world, uh, but this possibly may have happened because and I think that I could have handled it in this way and maybe my reaction over here did something to it and maybe I need to let this person out of my life and maybe I need to make a different decision or maybe I need to actually make a decision to do something about this, take some action, we get some understanding of how things may have unfolded and we get some action to actually take. And that's where we get the, the real big benefits out of journaling is actually gaining some understanding. If you just go through life and things are just happening to you and you're not actually understanding why or how or trying to understand yourself in any which way, things are just always going to keep happening to you. If you can use journaling as a way to understand why things happen around you and understand yourself a whole lot more, you'll be able to actually create your life, uh, you know, with intention because you understand how how things uh, react and how you react, and you can make changes for that. Um, you know, if I if I know that this particular thing sets me off, I can maybe look at why that sets me off and what is it perhaps, you know, old memories, old feelings, old behaviors, old beliefs that have caused that and actually go and do something about it and become more and more uh, aware and in control of the way things happen to me and the way I react to things in my life, meaning that the things aren't just happening to me anymore. I'm actually creating my life. Um, so definitely don't just, you know, getting it down on paper is a good start for sure. Um, I know that, you know, my first couple of journal entries were maybe a paragraph or two. Now, uh, it's not unknown for me to write 15 pages at a time working through something and getting some understanding about it. Um, but the last thing I wanted to also talk about is, yeah, it's really good from a personal growth perspective, but what I've found in the last six months is that can actually be really good for business as well. So journaling for your business Um, you know, all all these things happen to us in our life, but what if we sat down and wrote about the things that happen to us in our business on a daily basis, you know, writing down what hasn't worked. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Uh, writing down what hasn't worked or what has worked and actually gaining some understanding about what we're doing in our business. So we can, again, gain better control about what's happening rather than just taking, making decisions and letting things happen and, you know, going around in circles a little bit and never really understanding why uh, and never, and maybe not making decisions as fast as we should. Uh, whereas if you can write about it every single day uh, and, or, you know, if something happens, a frustration happens in your business or, you know, maybe you've got a staff member that you don't quite know how to handle or maybe you've got a problem that you don't quite know how to solve, if you can uh, really write about it, you can do exactly the same thing and actually solve your own problems uh, by writing about it, by journaling about it and and finding your own solutions. Um, so I've actually, a couple of you would have heard about it before in me talking about the business hammock journal. So the business hammock, we're not going to talk about today. Uh, but you know, the whole point of it was to go outside and take some time out of work every hour and a half or at the end of every day. If you were to actually take a journal to that hammock and write about all your frustrations since the last, uh, you know, hammock visit, Imagine how uh, less frustrated you will be in all of your day. You won't get to the end of the day or the end of the week holding all of the frustrations from the entire week. Hello, Tessa, how are you? Uh, You will actually 
uh, be able to let go of these things and maybe solve some of the problems as you go, as you're writing them down. You know, you get a client piss you off, you get, you know, something happens and, or, you know, your system shuts down or whatever and you write about it and, and maybe often come to a solution or at least let the frustrations go by doing that journaling. You will actually find yourself in a higher state all of the time because you don't have all of these things that happen to you, which happen to all of us and that's cool, but you don't have to hold on to them anymore. So guys, that was a really big, long ramble for me there. Uh, but immediately, like even if you don't know what you're going to write about, you're not sure about what you're going to write about, um, I've given you three things, intentions, uh, pr- what you're proud of yourself for, and, and gratefulness, and also writing down, if you're from a business sense, the things that happen to you in a day, uh, your frustrations, the things that have gone well, the things that you want to stick. There's definitely lots to write about, but the, the first step is getting one and just, and just starting. Just let the words flow and you will get better and better and better as you go. And I promise you it will make a massive difference in your personal and your business life. Cool. That's all for me tonight. Have an awesome night and I will see you guys all tomorrow. All right. Bye.